Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the single phase AC circuits. Okay, today's topic is Aurel series circuit, behavior of AC through Aurel series circuit. In the previous class, we discussed about the behavior of AC through pure resistive circuit and pure inductive circuit and pure capacitive circuit. And what is the phase angle between voltage and current in each and every circuit that we have seen. So today we are going to discuss about the behavior of AC through Aurel series circuit. If we give the AC supply to the Aurel series circuit, how the behavior, okay, and what is the impedance and what is the phase angle difference between voltage and current that we will discuss, okay. So if we take the circuit, this is the single phase AC circuit, uh, sorry, uh, single phase supply we are giving to the Aurel series circuit. The circuit consists of resistor and inductor, both are connected in series. Okay, here R and L are connected in series, that's why it is called as Aurel series circuit. Okay, for this circuit, we are giving AC supply. Okay, V is the supply voltage, and the voltage across the resistor is given by VR, and the voltage across the inductor is given by VL. Okay, I is the total current. Okay, if you see the V, V is equal to supply voltage. The parameters in the circuit, if you take, V is equal to supply voltage. And I is called as total current in the RL series circuit. And VR is called as voltage across the resistor. Voltage across the resistor is given by VR. Okay, here VL is called as voltage across the inductor. Okay. Here, resistor and inductor are connected in series. That's why the current is same in the circuit and the voltage is dividing. Vr and Vl is the voltage is dividing into resistor some voltage is dividing and the inductor some voltage is dividing. The voltage dividing in the resistor is called as a Vr and the voltage is dividing in the inductor is called as Vl. Okay, these are the two voltages in the RL series circuit. Next, if you see the phasor diagram of Aurel series circuit, so phasor diagram of Aurel series circuit we will get if we combine the phasor diagram of R and the phasor diagram of L, we will get the phasor diagram of Aurel. Okay, let's see. This is the phasor diagram of pure resistive circuit, this phasor diagram of R it is. If you ta take the phasor diagram of L, this is the phasor diagram of L. Current lags the voltage by 90 degrees. And if we take the uh, combination, then we will take, uh, get the phasor diagram is like this. This is the phasor diagram of Aurel series circuit. So observe clearly. So this is in the, the horizontal line. The horizontal line indicates the phasor diagram of resistor. Only this horizontal line. And this horizontal line and this vertical line is the phasor diagram of inductor. If we combine both the phasor diagram of R and L, see here, it is a VR and it is a VL. The resultant voltage is V. This is the resultant voltage. V is, in, v is called as resultant voltage here. VR and VL, the resultant is V. Okay, the phase angle between this total current and total voltage is indicated by pi. Okay, so here, if we uh, draw one line here, parallelly, the, the, I am drawing one line that is parallel to this VL, voltage across the inductor, we will take one dotted lines here. Okay, why we are drawing this line? To form the triangle, we are drawing this line. Okay, simply this is the phasor diagram of Aurel series circuit. Okay, from the from this phasor diagram, now we will find the different parameters. Okay, now this is the phasor diagram of Aurel series circuit. Okay, see here, this is the line which is parallel to this VL. That's why the name of this line is VL. Okay, if we observe clearly, there is a triangle is forming here. Okay, this triangle consists of VR, VL and V. V is the resultant voltage, VL is the voltage across the inductor and VR is the voltage across the resistor. If we separate the triangle from the phasor diagram, we will get here. This is the 
triangle we are getting if we separate it from the phasor diagram. So V is the total voltage and VL is the voltage across the inductor and VR is the voltage across the resistor. So we know the formulas. V is equal to I into Z, total current into impedance. Okay, voltage across the resistor is equal to I into R. Voltage across the inductor is given by I into XL. XL is called as reactance, inductive reactance. VC is equal to I into XC, that is capacitive reactance, current into capacitive reactance. So all are in the form of V, simple form. V is equal to I into Z, VR is equal to I into R, VL is equal to I into XL, VC is equal to I into XC. These are all the formulas we have to substitute in the phasor diagram. So if we substitute, we will get V is equal to I into Z. Next, VL is equal to I into XL and VR is equal to I into R. Okay, so in the above, uh, in the phasor diagram, uh, here I is common. If we take the I is common, we will get Z, R and XL. Okay, here yeah, in, the, in the given phasor diagram here, if we take the I is common, we will get impedance, reactance inductive reactance xl and the resistance r okay now if we draw the impedance triangle this is the impedance triangle whatever the phasor diagram we got previously that is the triangle we got previously that is called as impedance triangle because this triangle is having impedance resistance and inductive reactance that's why the name of this triangle is impedance triangle Okay, if we apply the Pythagoras theorem, we will get Z is equal to under root of R square plus XL square. Okay, this is the total impedance is a combination of, okay, adjacent plus opposite side, whole square. Okay, Hyper, hypotenuse square is equal to adjacent square plus side square plus hypotenuse square, oh, sorry, opposite side square. Okay, that is about the Pythagoras theorem. So that you know already. So Z is equal to from this simply Z is equal to under root of R square plus XL square. R is called as resistance. XL is called as inductive reactance. Okay. Now let's see about the phase angle between voltage and current. If we apply here in the, in the above triangle. So from this, what is tan pi is equal to tan pi formula is opposite side by adjacent side. What is opposite side here? XL, inductive reactance divided by adjacent is resistance. Okay, XL by R. So from this, if we separate the pi, we will get pi is equal to tan inverse of XL by R. Okay, here pi is called as phase angle difference between voltage and current of a RL series circuit. So in the pure resistive circuit and pure inductive circuit and pure capacitive circuit, so we can say directly that the phase angle between voltage and current is 0 degrees or 90 degrees. Okay, if, if we take the pure resistive circuit, it is 0 degrees. If it is a pure inductive or pure capacitive circuit, we can say directly 90 degrees. But if it is a combination resistor and inductor or resistor and capacitor we cannot say directly the phase angle phase angle difference between voltage and voltage and current here we have to find out the angle by using this formula okay so inductor value and resistor value they will give xl is equal to omega l omega is nothing but 2 pi f by using 2 pi f by r value we can find out the phase angle difference between voltage and current so by calculation only, we can say that the phase angle difference between voltage and current in the RL series circuit. So that we can find out by using this formula. Pi is equal to tan inverse XL by R. Pi is called as phase angle between voltage and current of a RL series circuit. Okay. Phase angle between voltage and current. Pi is called as. Now, if we see the uh impedance triangle so imp impedance this is the impedance triangle so for this triangle we are multiplying all the sides with i square so why we are multiplying with i square with all the sides to get the power triangle okay now let's see the triangle will look like this here so for the above triangle we are multiplying all the sides with i square 
i square into z i square into xl and i square into r like this we will multiply all the sides with i square so generally the power formula is i square into r okay that we know already that's why we are multiplying with i square now if we see the power triangle the power triangle is looking like this okay here i square r is nothing but p p is called as active power okay here i square xl is nothing but q q is called as reactive power okay i square z is called as, uh, is indicated by s s is called as total power okay got it so uh, it is clear that here p is equal to i square r okay active power active power is indicated by p okay next reactive power reactive power is indicated by q that formula is i square into xl here next total power if you take the total power total power is indicated by s okay that formula is i square into z okay like this we will form the power triangle okay this is the impedance triangle and this is the power triangle to get the power triangle we are multiplying all the sides with i square now let's see let's apply the pythagoras theorem uh, uh, to the uh, to the power triangle okay see here hypotenuse square is equal to adjacent square plus opposite square so s is equal to p square plus q square under root okay this is the formula of power triangle s is equal to under root of p square plus q square so this is about the behavior of ac through aureal series circuit in the next class we will discuss about the rc series circuit